training of ski troops, troops built for climbing, is a specialized business. And one of the most important items is physical fitness. Having passed the fitness test, they soon get a rise. They learn how to raise themselves. And now you can see how essential it is for the men to be sound in wind and limb. Oh yes, there's more than one way of being up the pole. Having gone up, they must come down. But this means a slightly different technique but they just jump to it all the same. Meanwhile, the engineers try out an improvised bridge to see whether it will stand the strain of moving tanks. The tanks made it, but only just in time. Sappers demonstrate a few ways of getting through wire entanglements. One idea is to wriggle under. Another idea is to charge over after laying down a carpet of wire netting. Practice in sewing mines. These are meant to hold up the speed of a pursuit. The most spectacular manoeuvre of the day is the tank steeplechase. Instead of hedges and ditches, the iron steeds have to tackle concrete tank traps. They say it's very good for the liver. Upsy-daisy, 